But there is some positive breaking news this morning. Another potential coronavirus vaccine is showing very promising results. Charlie Daggett is at Oxford University in England with more on the AstraZeneca vaccine trial. Charlie, I know the medical community very excited about this one. So what makes this different than the other ones that we've talked about? And good morning. They're very excited here at Oxford, Gail. <laughs> to you and here's why it not only performed as well as they'd hoped it would but this vaccine might stop the transmission of the virus too large-scale trials showed the vaccine prevented more than 70 percent of people from getting covid that number jumps up to 90 percent if half the dose is used followed by a booster shot of a full dose data shows it works across all age groups and it's safe mild side effects include headache fatigue and a sore arm volunteers were also swabbed on a weekly basis to see if it showed a reduction in asymptomatic cases when people spread the virus without knowing they had it the reason we did all of those swabs was to ask the question, could a vaccine prevent transmission as well as disease? And this is one way of doing that. I think it's the first vaccine to report on that endpoint. The U.S. Warp Speed program has pumped more than a billion dollars into the development of the Oxford vaccine in return for an initial rollout of 300 million doses. The vaccines only need basic refrigeration rather than deep freeze temperatures. That makes distribution easier and faster. Upscaling the manufacture of the vaccine is also easier, and AstraZeneca have pledged to make 3 billion doses in 2021. Now, the big question, when are we going to see it in the United States? Well, AstraZeneca said today they're in conversations, their words, with the FDA, but it is possible that this vaccine may be rolled out to other countries before it reaches America. Anthony? All right, but a vaccine that prevents transmission, that's really encouraging news, Charlie Daggett in England. Thanks, Charlie.